what else is one of the most important lessons you can learn when it comes to designing a renewable energy system? And even if you're not designing a renewable energy system, it's one of the best things to learn to understand how to reduce your energy consumption. Because at the end of the day, that's one of the best things to do is actually reduce your load. Whether you're installing solar or wind or whatever, um, if you can reduce that load, it's going to help you save some money from your energy bill. And also when you do in install a system, it's really going to help you install a smaller system and understand what you can and can't use at certain times and get the most out of your energy system. Okay? Um, the equation is pretty simple. So it doesn't matter where about in the world you are, it's just volts times amps equals watts. So if you're on 110 volts, you times 110 times your amps. If you're in 240 volts, 240 times the amps. Whatever the calculation is, so volts times amps equals watts. Then you add time, you get the watt hour. So the kilowatt hour is actually something energy companies created to charge for your energy consumption. So understanding this, the volts times the amps equals watts and how that works, you can get a really good understanding of what appliances use energy and what it takes to actually create that energy and use within the home. What we're going to do now, we're going to go grab some appliances and I'm going to show you how that watt hour works with the appliances. And in this next video, we're going to show you three appliances that can replace everything in your kitchen and help you reduce your energy consumption. Here we go. So I'm going to show you the watt hour and what it means in actually using a kitchen appliance. So we have a few different uh, items here um, to show you. So this device here is actually specifically will measure the energy on one individual unit. So like we've got the here, we've plugged in the power in the back. So you plug it in your wall, then we plug the device in the front. It's got a few different settings which we'll flick through. So let's turn this oven on. Now when we turn the oven on, it's showing that it's actually requiring 134 watts at the moment of energy. Overload. It's using, so it's wanting 1130 watts now. The volts, so as I said before, we've got the volts, 217 volts. It's pulling out at the moment, and 5.1 amps. So if we times that, so the volts times the amps, you'd get the watts. Power factor, and there we go back at the watts. So if this device was left on for an hour and wanted energy for an hour, it would use 1100 watt hours. Okay, so it's drawing 1100 watts, and over the time, so we do volts times amps plus time, you get the watt hour. Um, so if that device was on, well, it's 1,100 watts. If on's about 20 minutes, you'd use about 200 watts of energy from your batteries, okay? If that makes sense. So volts times amps equals watts. Okay, let's turn that one off. So these are great devices to read just individual loads. Now we've got this one here. This one actually does my whole house. Um, there's some really good tricky ones of these. We've actually got a new one we're installing, which is going to show our solar production, our energy usage, and it's all available online which um, will give you guys viewing access to, um, to actually have a look and see what goes on in our house, which is pretty cool. Um, so, let's click on the Thermomix here. So at the moment, our house is using 400 watts. So if our house wasn't to do anything for the next hour, we'd use 400 watt hours. So we'd take 400 watts of energy out of the battery over an hour. As you can see there, now it's jumped up to... Uh, 1265 watts, so the Thermomix is using about 800 watts of energy. With the Thermomix, they're very, very efficient, so they actually will go up and down, up and down, up and down, actually fluctuate the energy as they're getting things hot. So you can see this one here reads the whole house and everything that's going on with the house, so which is cool. Really good device. Um, or what you can do, if you, if you know, um, these things do cost money. Actually, it's really easy to go at the front, uh, read your meter. Um, here's a photo of a meter here. Take down the, the notes of the numbers. Go inside, turn the device on. When you finish using it, go back outside and read your meter and you actually can see how much energy that, that device consumed. It's not going to be that accurate because everything in your house is going to be going as well. So um, it might be important to do that for an hour to see what your base load is, you know, which is it's doable without spending any money. Um, so these three appliances, I just want to touch on, replace every single appliance in our kitchen. This here is what we call our turbo oven. It's our little oven we cook everything within. This is the George Foreman. Uh, I really like this. 
Um, the feature of this here, um, I basically throw my breakfast in there with my bacon and eggs and onions and things like that. Go down the back, get today's eggs while yesterday's eggs are cooking in there, and um, come back and breakfast is done, which is pretty cool. So it's really simple. And, and this thermomix, so these two items are actually really, you know, a couple of hundred bucks. Um, they, they're great. They will, they will save you the money back within energy within months. Um, if you cook with an oven every single night, a small $200 investment in something like that will actually save you your money back in no time um, because of how energy efficient they actually are. Um, they use about, what I've found, about two to 400 watts to cook most of the meals that we cook. Two to 400 watt hours. Uh, Thermomix is now, you know, um, they're a couple of thousand dollars to buy um, and, and worth it. You can get on payment plans with them and things like that. Uh, they replace so many different devices in your kitchen. Um, this here um, has actually replaced every device in our kitchen when it comes to cooking. Um, uh, yeah, there's a bread maker, they're a steamer, they're a grinder. There's so much about them. And for embodied energy, look at the amount of resources we've used with just those three items compared to if we were to have you know, 10 different appliances to fill in the gaps of what this does. Um, so yeah, and they're all energy efficient, which makes it great. Um, so yeah, so there's going to be a, a, there's a downloadable spreadsheet at the bottom. Grab it. I want you to go go around your house and do an energy audit on your home. Or if you if you hadn't, haven't got anything at the moment, um, what we want to do is um, plan your system and plan the devices. And the really good thing, if you haven't got anything, you can plan to buy energy efficient appliances because buying energy efficient appliances will save you more money in the long run than installing any of this sort of stuff. So. Um, download the spreadsheet, go to an energy audit on your house and see what appliances use what sort of energy and figure out your daily load to understand the watt hour. 